It's been a year and a half since I started my minoxidil journey and I have came a long way. Just in case you guys forgot what that looked like, cue the music. I had patches on top of patches. It looked uneven, it was ugly, and I did not like it. But now I could honestly say that I feel great about having a thick and full beard. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys my one and a half year update I'm gonna slowly wing off a of minoxidil. I'm gonna check in with you guys after one month of not using minoxidil to see if any of the hairs fell out. And I'm gonna show you guys this new product that I purchased that I'm very excited to use. It's gonna take my beard to that next level. So if all that sounds good, then keep watching. My last beard update was at the one year mark, so that was six months ago. And to be completely honest with you guys, I do not notice a difference. I think it's exactly the same at one year. I'm still gonna show you guys, that way you guys could tell me what you think. This is my left side now, and this is my left side at the one year mark. This is my right side now, and this is my right side at the one year mark. You guys tell me what you think. So I still have that patch on my right side and my goatee doesn't fully connect like I want it to. And I understand this is not the end of the world and it doesn't look that bad. I appreciate you guys commenting, showing me love in the comment box talking about it looks great. I do appreciate it, but I just wanna be as real as I can in these videos just in case you guys wanna use the product and that way you guys know what to expect. I get asked all the time, if you suddenly stop using minoxidil, does the hair fall out? I'm going to find out the hard way and I'm going to get back to you guys in this video to let you know how my hair is doing and if I got to keep it or if it fell off. So it's my understanding that the vellus hairs or the baby hairs need to turn into terminal hairs or fully grown hairs. Once they do turn into those fully grown hairs, then you should be good to go and you should not lose any of your hair. So that's what you gotta watch out for to see if there's still the baby or the vellus hairs. And how do you do that? It's pretty much a waiting game. So it's recommended that you use minoxidil for one whole year. I used it for a year and a half just to make sure that I have all the hair that's thick and full and that way I'm not gonna have to use minoxidil over again. When I told people in my last video that I was going to wing off a of minoxidil, they asked why and I don't think I explained myself that great, so I'm going to explain myself in this video. So you just don't want to stop cold turkey because when your body is used to having something just like caffeine, which is in coffee or soda, and you just cut cold turkey, your body wants it. So you might have some side effects like headaches, migraines. I suffer from migraines myself and I do not want to have any headaches or any migraines. So that's why I'm slowly winging off of it. I don't want a negative uh, effect to happen on my body. So that's why I'm going to slowly come off of it. And it's also easier to start back up if I start noticing that my hairs are falling out so I don't start from square one and I don't have the side effects like losing hair from the top of my head. So that's why I want to make sure I wing off of it. That way I can keep reusing it if I have to. I am about to shave my beard right now for you guys. I'm going to use the clipper, a number zero, no guard. Last time I used the number one and I still had people hating on me in the comment box talking about it's a different length. So I'm going to make it try to look the same as day one. And in day one, I had some stubbles. It was probably like one or two days uh, from not shaving. So I'm going to try to make that same effect. That way you guys could really see how it was from day one using minoxidil all the way to a year and a half. Wow. You guys can see all the gray hairs under there. I did do a video on how to dye your hair and dyeing your hair a darker color actually makes your beard look a lot fuller. So that's another tip for you guys. Okay, that looks extremely weird because I'm used to having a beard. What do you guys think it looks like? Uh, let me know in the comments below. 
it does not look like day one. I thought I was gonna have a little bit of stubble, so I'm gonna check in with you guys maybe day one or day two when it looks a little more like when I first started using Minoxidil. Guys, it's been five days since I trimmed my beard with the clippers with no guard. So we are now at the year and a half plus five days mark. After using the clippers with no guard, it was just so uneven. So I just decided to go ahead and shave it with a razor and I just cleaned up the whole beard except for my mustache and I forget what this is called, but this little uh, under the lip beard area. Anyways, now we are closer to day one. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now. And this is day one when I started using Minoxidil. I am now on day five of weaning off of Minoxidil and so far, so good. For the past five days, I've been applying only once a day. So I apply one time in the evening opposed to my usual once in the morning and once in the evening. So it's now been five days of weaning off of Minoxidil. Guys, now we're at the one year, seven month mark of my Minoxidil journey and I completely stopped using it. It only took me four weeks to wean off of Minoxidil. I wanna tell you guys how I weaned off of it. Uh, the first week and a half, I only used it once a day. Those who use Minoxidil or doing research on it, you already know you're supposed to apply twice a day to your beard. So the first week and a half, I only applied once. So for the next week and a half, I went down to every other day. So I went to once a day, to every other day, and when I do apply, I apply at nighttime. And the reason I do that is because I have a routine in the morning and it usually involves putting some beard balm on my beard, make it look nice. So I put Minoxidil at nighttime, that way, you know, it's not affecting my oils, my beard balm, or whatever kind of uh, products that I'm putting in my beard. So for that last week to complete the four weeks of weaning off of Minoxidil, I use Minoxidil every third day. So I just skipped two days. So really I only applied it for three times in that last week. And now I don't have to use Minoxidil anymore. So, so far, so good. I haven't had any side effects due to coming off of Minoxidil. <laughs> Just play with you guys. I have no side effects whatsoever. I didn't get any headaches. I didn't lose sleep. I didn't do any of that stuff. So I uh, suggest weaning off of it because if you cut cold turkey, you might notice some side effects. So I want to be real with you guys, when I was weaning off of it, probably at week two, I started looking at this patch that I have right here that I hate, and I started looking and I was like, huh, I thought that it was falling off, like my hair was falling off a little bit more, so I kept a close eye on it, and then I even had to rewind and check out my other footage and just look at it, and it is the same, I thought it was falling off, but uh, after further review... What? You gotta be kidding me! It looks like it's the same. So, so far I have not lost any hair on my beard. So this is the one month mark from when I shaved and this is how long it gets if I grow it out for one month. If anybody noticed a difference, I did switch my Just For Men gel. I used to use the real black and I switched to the dark brown. So I don't know if anybody's noticed any slight coloration. I do need a touch up right here, but uh, just in case you guys notice something different from my beard is because I switched over to the dark brown. I think it looks a little more natural and my wife was like, hey, why don't you try this one? So I guess she's trying to tell me something, but I just like how it looks for that real black, that dark, look I think it looks more fuller that way so now for my next step I want to wait a whole nother month and then I'm gonna check back in with you guys in this video so it's probably only gonna be a couple seconds for you guys but for me it's gonna be a whole month and we're gonna see if I lose any hairs on my beard it has been one month since I stopped using minoxidil and I think my beard looks great and man, it feels good not having to apply twice a day. It's funny cause like I still have a uh, application anxiety. I'll be laying in bed at nighttime, ready to go to sleep. And then it hits me like, oh, I forgot to put Minoxidil on. And then I remember, no, nope, not no more. 
If anyone is wondering, it took me two months to grow out this beard. This is what it looks like. And with that being said, let's get into my most asked question about any of my Noxidil videos. And that's, but will my beard fall out if I stop using Minoxidil? As you guys know, I've been using Minoxidil for a year and a half now and I have not noticed any shedding, any beer loss whatsoever and I don't think I ever will. And it's just once the hairs come in, the mature thick hairs come in, then you don't have to worry about the hairs falling off. So. A lot of people say, oh, you've been, uh, you know, I use it for three months and my hair starts falling out and it's fake hair and blah, blah, blah. My magic number is a year and a half. And if you guys are going to try to use Minoxidil, I suggest, you know, be ready for the long game. Don't try to use it for three months, four months and think your hair is going to grow out, you know, be strong and stay there and not fall off. So I recommend you use it for at least a year and a half. I told you guys in the beginning of this video that I have a top secret weapon that's going to take my beard to the next level. I am happy with my beard, you guys don't get me wrong, but I still have this patch right here and I just, I hate it. I don't, I don't know, I just, I don't know why it doesn't want to grow in. And it's kind of thinner right here and right here opposed to any other part of my beard. So I do have a top secret product that I'm gonna share with you guys. And that product is called Dermarol. I'm gonna be using the JJ Ellie brand. It also comes with a beard oil that's supposed to help grow your beard as well. It is a 0.25 millimeter size needle for those that are wondering. I'm gonna link it down below for anybody interested in getting this product. And don't worry, you guys already know, I'm gonna make a video on how to use it, what it is, and all that good stuff. So be looking out in the description box or at the end of this video for it. It did take me a while to make this video, so all I ask for in return is a simple click or tap on that like button. If you guys have any questions, you already know, comment box below. I will see you guys on the next video.